So this was the first case study of the assessment that you've just done. And whenever you have a case study in your, in your exams, the answers are in the, in the text. The clues are all in the case study, and you need to use those clues to support and strengthen your points. That doesn't matter what type of question it is, from a two marker all the way to a nine marker, you have to refer to the case study or you'll lose a lot of marks. So when we come to this first two marker of explain one possible reason why people like Monique set up in business, you have to even refer back to the case study for that. And if you don't offer the context, the likelihood is you'll probably only get one out of two marks. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the case study now and see if there's anything that relates to Monique setting up that business. Now, there's, from having a quick read over the case study, there's quite a few points that you could use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different highlighter pen for different points. So the first part I've highlighted is um, Monique works in the factory but has decided to leave her boring, repetitive job. I mean, that is uh, some evidence that you could use for a potential point. And it offers that context. The next one relates to the idea itself. So she thinks that setting up a local iron business might be a good idea. She feels that maybe there's a gap in the market or it's, 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 a, it's a good idea for that area. And the next one, maybe she thinks that she can make a good profit. Some of these points might link. You might be able to use two of them to kind of strengthen for a really good point. But I wouldn't use all three. Because by using all three, you're probably listing rather than explaining. And the question is asking you to explain. So when I'm considering the question, I need to use ICF, which is instruction, context, and focus. The instruction is explain. Explain one. So I have to go for one point. The, the focus is in terms of setting up the business, and the context is Monique. So I have to make sure that the answer relates to Monique. So I've put, one possible reason for people like Monique is for personal satisfaction. So that would be my main point. But then I'd have to explain, well, why is that a valid point, and how does it relate to Monique? So I've put, it states in the case today that a current factory job uh, is boring and repetitive. So there's my evidence. Whilst if she set up her own business, she would be creating the role and also have various tasks to complete within the enterprise, helping her to enjoy a job forever. So that's my reasoning. So I've got my point, I've got my evidence, and I've got my reasoning, and that gets me my two marks. So the second question which relates to this case study is, I explained two disadvantages to Monique of setting up as a sole trader. And this is a four marker. So again, if I look at the ICF, what I'm looking at is the, uh, the command term is explain, and it's asking me to explain two. The context is again Monique, so you know it has to relate to the case study, and you have to go back to the case study to see if there's anything else. And the focus is in terms of disadvantages of a sole trader. Now, I've got the case study behind, uh, below as well, and I'm just going to have a quick look to see if there's anything that relates to this question to help me as evidence. You can do the same. So I've highlighted two key areas. One, she works in a factory, and that suggests that she's never set up her own business before. If she had, I'm sure it would have been mentioned in the case study, but at the moment, her current role is not maybe entrepreneurial. So that could be a potential point. And I've also highlighted um, two other points, which I think actually relate. So one, uh, she'll, however, only have a small amount of money to launch her home-based business and buy the necessary equipment. And she doesn't even know she can afford to undertake market research, which suggests that there's some financial constraints. So now what I have to do is think, well, how does that relate to being a sole trader? So I thought one disadvantage of being a sole trader is that she won't have support from a partner and therefore have full responsibility and control of the business, uh, which may be too much for her. So this is in terms of my main point. And I've kind of just, I suppose, given a little bit more reason as to why that's a point. Now, what I need to do is think about the evidence. So I've put she has no entrepreneurial experience as she's currently working in a, in a factory. Sorry, that's meant to say factory working in a factory, and therefore she may find it hard operating alone. So I'm starting to produce some more reason and some more explanation. So if I highlight this, um, how that hard operate alone. Without the support of a partner, she may struggle with key decision making, be prone to making errors under pressure, hair and the success of the business. So again, I've got my point, I've got my evidence, and I've got my reasoning, I've got my explanation. 
So this point, my second disadvantage is financial constraints and the risks of unlimited liability. So that's my main point in terms of financial constraints and unlimited liability. As she has very little money um, and is struggling to potentially afford research as all her funds will go towards her equipment. So that's my evidence. If she experiences any difficulty or, uh, or failure, she'll be fully responsible. As a, and that's my reasoning. As a partnership, she would still suffer from unlimited liability, which is a mistake that many of my students were making, thinking that a partnership would have limited liability. That's not the case. Remember, you only have limited liability when you start selling shares and issuing shares. So she would still suffer from unlimited liability. However, she might have more startup funds as both partners can bring in those funds. And this would ease the financial pressure instantly and help for key items of research, help her business to be more prepared and less likely to fail. So that's my reasoning.